What is up, YouTube? I'm Xavier Elon, and I'm fucking exhausted. But I said I'd do one problem before I went to bed tonight. So I'm gonna be, we're gonna be going over a Roman integer, an easy problem on Leak Code, and let's get to the problem. All right, what is up, guys? I actually tried to record this video last night, but it, it, OBS, um, the video came out all laggy and choppy, and you couldn't even see me coding. So I changed some settings, gonna see if that works. So Roman integer, Roman numerals are represented by seven different symbols, I, V, X, L, C, D, and M. And these are their corresponding values. This is just a long description on how um, <clears throat> uh, Roman numerals work. I'm not gonna go over that. I hope you know how Roman numerals work. But basically these three points are important. These are gonna be key to solving the problem. Um, so I can be, be placed before V and X to make four and nine. So I can only be placed before um, v and x it can't be placed before uh, 50 um, and x can be placed before l and c c can be placed before d and m so those are just key points to remember and here's our examples so we just need to output the integer equivalent of the string that is passed in so how are we going to do this we could use a hash map and this would be the key and this would be the value and then we could just code according to these so if the, if um as we go loop through the string if one of these characters appears before one of these characters we know we have to subtract it and so we can do exactly that so um here i already coded out my hash map i didn't want you guys to watch me code this out it's pretty boring so i already did it to save some time so let's we want to keep a running sum so we have int sum equals zero and then, like I said, we're just going to loop through the array, or the string, sorry. So we have if s dot car at position i equals, um, it's the first two, so, or the, second and third so v and x if it's v and x and then we have the pitch position before it is an i we know we need to subtract one so v or s dot car at and then if um s dot or well first we need to check if i is greater than zero because if it's not and we're going to be out of bounds because we want to check um, s dot car at uh, i minus one position. So what would we do in this scenario? Uh, my first thought was to subtract to one and that actually came out wrong. Um, the reason for that is because if we have if our string is I V I V we're going to go ahead and we're going to, since we're going from left to right, we're going to plus one and then we see V and then we realize we need to subtract one. Um, but we also need to plus five. So what does that give us? That actually gives us five, but the real number is the real, the answer is supposed to be, um, four. So we need to also subtract another one because we added one, even though that's not the, it's technically, this is not a one. It's actually saying subtract one. We already added one, so we need to subtract two ones. So we're gonna have um, sum minus equals two. So that's why we have that. And then we just need to do these if statements for all three scenarios. So I'm just gonna copy and change them accordingly. So if you see, um, it's power sub 10 that um, go before the other numbers. So it's M or wait, is it M or C can be placed. So it's C, X and I that can be placed before the other numbers. So let's code this out. So this is supposed to be X and it goes before L and C. And we need to subtract, so x is 10, but we need to multiply it by two for the exact same reason. So it's actually going to be 20. 
And then up next, it, we have C, and C is 100, so we need it to be times two, which is 200, and we have D and M. And then at the end of this, we just need to add um, S dot car at I. And right here, we want to return sum. And so now let's run that, see if it works. Wrong answer, three. So what did I do wrong? In sum, sum minus equals. Two nineteen. That's a weird output. Huh. Expected three. Oh, I know why. Um, <laughs> so this is supposed to be map dot get uh, s dot car at i. Okay, that was just. Be getting ahead of myself. It was adding the ASCII values. So there we go. Now it works. And let's submit it. So 75% runtime, 50% memory. Um, at first glance, you might think this is O of N runtime, but it's not because it is such a limited, where is it? So the range, the, the input is guaranteed to be in, within the range from one to 3999, which is an extremely f small value for Roman numerals. So it's actually O of one runtime um, because it's it's just constant. And same for space complexity, even though we made this, it's uh, still O of one runtime. If you guys like this video, if it helped, hit that like button. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.